video showing you how to use your calendar and create events in Squarespace. So first you're going to go to squarespace.com and then once you've logged in, your dashboard should look something like this. These are all various websites that I have created or have access to. So the website that I'm going to use as an example today is this one right here, Corn Diggity Dogs. This is a food truck in Fairbanks, Alaska. And I'm just going to get rid of that to give myself a little bit more space. So um, I'm going to go over here to pages. We've got this dashboard on the left and we're going to go all the way down here, not linked. What it means when it says not linked, all that means is that those pages are just not showing up over here in the top navigation, but they are still active pages on the website. So I'm going to click on events. Here are all the events that I've already added to this website. So if I wanted to make a change to one of these, I would simply click on it and then I can, there's a few ways that I can do this. I can either come over here, hover around, and um, I can click on edit, and then this will be the form that pops up, which allows me to make edits. So if I want to write a description here, I can do that. If I wanted to click on this to add an element, I could add an image that way. Um, if I wanted to have you know a flyer or, or any other image show up for this um, particular event, um, here, if you click on this, it allows you to change when the event is. So I want to keep this the same. It's um, March 12th at 11 a.m. This is the end, 8 p.m. And then over here, I can click on options if I wanted to add an image for this, or I can search for images. So I'm going to search free images, and I'm going to look for a corn dog. Let's see if they have anything. Uh, this one's kind of fun. So. I'm going to add this just to give an example of how you can use the free stock photo feature that's included within Squarespace. So if I wanted to do an excerpt, I can write something here, fun event about corn dogs. And then um, if I wanted to add the location, I could. I don't personally use these features that often. I don't really ever use the SEO, social, or share features. If you want to play around with those, that's up to you. But in order to just have the event set up, what we really need to do is focus on this um, content. Again, you know, you have your photo here, description here, options, and then once you're happy with everything, you can hit save. Um, and then, so this, these events over here are going to automatically fill to the calendar page, which is up here. So as you can see now, um, for this particular event, the corn dog stock photo has popped up in place of the text, which is what was there before. Um, so if you if you're not a fan of that, you can delete the photo and it'll go back to the text. Also, as you can see, as I roll over it, it um, pops up with the information about the event. So these are all events that they have coming up. If I wanted to look at past events, I would click here, but um, I'm now going to create a new event. So in order to create a new event, I'm going to click on this plus and we get the same exact form. So I'm just going to call this new event one. Um, same thing. You can choose your times and dates. I'm just going to leave what is in there because this is just an example. Same thing. Um, and it's also optional. You don't have to put anything in here. Uh, it's really up to you. How detailed do you want to get if you want to write the description of the event? Or all that and then the same over here uh, you can also do a custom URL once you're under this options tab if you wanted this to be corn dog event one I'm just coming up with this at random um, and again I you know it's it's up to you but it's nice to include an excerpt um, and also an image um, but for this example actually I'm just gonna include the excerpt without the image so super fun corn dog event and then I'll put the same thing over here in the description. And then um, down here, um, take a look at these options. Uh, you can either have comments on or off. Again, that's a personal thing. And then uh, this is where you have the settings of, of um, I'm not sure what to call this, if whether or not the event is a draft, needs review, scheduled, or published. So if you wanted to just create a draft, but it won't actually go live, you could leave it that way. But for the most part, almost all the time, I'm going to go ahead and hit published. So then once I save, this new event is going to be on the calendar. So again, I go back to my calendar page and here it is right here under new event one. So um, 
that's pretty much it. Again, to just reiterate, uh, once you are logged into Squarespace, you'll have this dashboard on the left. You wanna click on pages. You wanna click on events all the way down here. Because here's the thing, if you click up here under the primary navigation, if you click on calendar, it's gonna take you to this calendar page, but this is just a different thing. Um, you're not actually editing the particular events here. This would be like just deleting the, the calendar altogether, which we don't wanna do, obviously. So that's it. And please let me know if you have any questions on this tutorial. My email is hello at GretchenCamp.com and I hope this was helpful.